Guy, welcome to the club. Are you happy to be here at the Hawks? Cheers, Adam. Yeah, no, uh, really pleased to be here. Uh, great to sign and, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting going. Uh, really, really excited, yeah. Yeah, go through sort of the process when you found out, the phone call, that sort of thing, your feelings uh, throughout the whole process. Yeah, to, to be fair, it came a bit out of the blue. Um, the, uh, John Underwood, sl uh, Slough manager, got in contact with me, said that I uh, haven't have put a seven dayer in. Big shot, but, um, but yeah, it was sort of sort of out of the blue really, I uh, wasn't expecting it, you know, sort of always focused on my football but always been at Slough and, and um, yeah, when, the, when I sort of heard that, you know, it sort of gets you, gets you going and you sort of get excited and you sort of think what could, what could be, so um, the seven days passed, I played my last game at York for Slough and then uh, spoke to Doz on, on the Monday and, and yeah, I couldn't really turn it down to be honest, I think the opportunity was, was too good to, to sort of turn down and sort of test myself and finally, you know, play for a big club in, in the league and then yeah, see what I can do. Yeah, perfect. So obviously you've been at Slough for a little while now, nine years, hundreds of appearances. Yeah. Why did you choose the Hawks for your next challenge and why now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a few hundred appearances, a lot of yellow cards, a few reds. Um, but I think um, I think for me, you know, I've always I've always uh, played against Dawes, even when I was back at Ashford when I was 17, when he was at Sutton. Uh, I think we scored a few long throws against them then and sort of We've always had a good relationship and, and even the style games have always been fiery and feisty and I think um, knowing that he was here um, and obviously coming down to play at Haven, you see the stadium, you see the fans, that kind of stuff, yeah, everyone gets behind the team so I think it's a team that's pushing and I think it was the right time for me now at 30, you know, I've always played at Slough, it's always been, you know, it's been great there, the managers have been tremendous to me over the years and you know, I was with them pre-Slough as well so it's, it was a tough, tough decision but I think you know, I'm 30 now, and I think now's, a, a, you know, my prime as a centre-half, I'd say, to go and test myself. And, you know, um, yeah, really, really looking forward to it. And to link up with Doz, you know, we've got, we've got a bit of history there. You know, there's been a, an incident at the Slough where we got a bit close um, between the legs. But, yeah, that, yeah, it's been great. But, yeah, it's it really excited to get it going. And, obviously, you had a session or two here. Have you found yourself settling in well? Yeah, no, settling in, boys are great. Um, yeah, really, really looking forward to it. First game, going to Ricky away. Yeah, just, just looking forward to getting, getting playing and get some more training under my belt. It's obviously different training in the mornings with evenings at Slough, but managed to sort of work, work around that. I've got my own business, but managed to move things around so I can train and just give this the best shot, really. So yeah, looking forward to it. Perfect. And given your experience in the league, what are you hoping to bring to the side? Um, so hopefully without playing my own trumpet, a bit of pace, aggression, um, Love tackles, love love heading. You know, hopefully I can just offer that cover around the back four, uh, back three. Um, and yeah, I'm just I'm a winner. That's you know I want to win. Yeah, we've been on some great runs at Slough, probably punching above our weight if we're honest. You know, we got to the playoffs a couple of years ago, so you know that's what I'm looking for here. Definitely, we've got, you know we've got to be successful. That's that's why I'm doing this now. So uh, yeah, really just trying to step up my comfort zone from Slough and actually push on. Lovely. Thank you very much. Paul, you have obviously played with a guy a number of years. Why now? Uh, I think it was well known that we were and needed a centre half. Um, obviously, with Sam Magri's really unfortunate injury, and obviously Manny Adebola being out for for eight and ten weeks, and it being obvious that Manny wasn't going to be fit to come back. Um, you know, we've been looking at a centre half now for three or four weeks, and it was someone who's probably top of our target list. You know, we had four or five centre halves down that we were looking at. Um, we didn't know obviously if we could get Guy because of his work situation and the fact that he'd been at Slough for a long, long time, but. You know, he was someone that uh, we had top of our list. I think that he'll add uh, aggression, certainly got pace. Um, and for us, you know, he, he knows this league, and I think that's really important to come into a league that you know. Um, I think the biggest question that I needed to ask Guy was whether he, you know, whether he wanted to step up to doing, you know, three mornings a week, uh, and to probably come into an environment where there is pressure uh, in terms of where you finish in the league. And, you know, we said it all along. This club should be in the playoffs. That's that's the minimum requirement. Um, and I wanted to make sure when I spoke to him that you know that he felt the same way. So you think his experience would be vital for that back line? Well, I think um, for me, centre halves come into their prime normally from sort of 30 to about 32, 33 in terms of their knowledge of the game, their reading of the game is so important. So I think we're signing a centre half who's you know who's played enough games to to actually know the game inside out. Um, He's got a good desire about him in terms of the way that he goes in for tackles. He's a good reader of the game. But more importantly, I think he is a winner. And um, you know that's what we need to bring in is a couple of people that want that desire, not prepared to accept second best. And like I said, you know, I know people, have, uh, supporters in particular, wanted someone in sooner. 
but I really felt it was right to, to take the time to get the right one in. So it sounds like it's a little bit of a no-brainer. Well, in the context, we've known each other, you know, for some time. As I said, we've always been up against each other. It's always been quite feisty and, and, and fiery. Um, we like that, you know, that's, that's what the 90 minutes on a Saturday is all about. You're not like that before the game and you're not like it after the game. But, you know, during the game, everyone's competitive and, you know, we're, um, we're bringing in a real competitor. And, you know, also I'd like to thank Slough as well. You know, obviously it'd be disappointing for them that, that guys chosen to come. But I say John Underwood and, uh, and Neil have again handled it as they always do very well. Uh, and I'd like to thank Slough Football Club for, you know, for making it easy enough for Guy to move. Paul, thank you very much. And Guy, welcome again to the club. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Cheers. Take again, Guy. Cheers.